The first hour of the parliamentary session was taken up with warm congratulations for the newly knighted Sir Joe Bossano, with the Speaker Adolfo Canepa leading the tributes, which were then echoed by the Chief Minister, the Leader of the Opposition, and every other one of the MPs in the chamber. It came as no surprise that all members wanted to extend their congratulations to Sir Joe Bossano, but the Chief Minister had one surprise in store. Uh, Mr. Speaker, um, I say to the House today that the government will, at the appropriate time, uh, be moving a motion to bestow, uh, with uh, the support, I hope, of the whole House, the freedom of the city of Gibraltar on Sir Joe, also now that Her Majesty has recognized his contribution as well. We think on this side of the House it's important that the recognition of the people of Gibraltar and the way that the people of Gibraltar bestow that recognition also uh, be considered. Sir Joe himself said he had finally been persuaded to accept an award purely because he had realized how much it meant to people. He jovially rounded off his address by suggesting that, since he is the Queen's Knight Commander in the House, he expects every one of its members to do their duty. With pleasantries over, Parliament then turned to the cut and thrust of question time. And one of the first subjects of contention became the MTV Festival. Independent MP Lawrence Jamas probed on whether the government had taken university students into account when selecting the dates for this year's event. Minister Stephen Linares said, yes, of course they had, but there were other factors to take into account. These were the dates which had been made available by the GFA, who now own the stadium. Marlene Hassan Naon asked how the actual viewing figures of the program produced by MTV had measured up to the predicted 1 billion global audience. Mr. Linares said 1 billion was actually the potential reach of the event, not the actual viewing public. Ms. Hassan Naon said the broadcaster's audience research board statistics showed viewing for the majority of the programs was zero and at peak times only 0.06% of the UK audience. She suggested the government had bought a sales pitch and were now rolling along as if everything was fine. But the Chief Minister said she had chosen to focus on just two of the showings of the programme in the UK and the global viewing public was in fact much more. He said the government didn't have the figures for the rest of the world, but there were likely to be much more than last year when a programme didn't exist. Mr. Picardo said with a potential global reach of a billion people, the MTV Festival was the right deal for Gibraltar.